Hello, Dwarven Elves, or Elven Dwarves, and not to forget, Hobbits is, as the one possessed by the One Ring used to say. I want to introduce you to Quenya, which is one of the Elven languages of Tolkien. We will see some Quenya words, pronounced as though they were taken from Finnish, which is just one way that is not 100% accurate, but close enough so that you don't sound completely foreign to Middle Earth. I will give you some mnemonics that extensively use tips from other languages that I know. So feel blessed by the stars because not only will you learn vocabulary from Quenya, but also from natural languages as I introduce you to ways to engrave those words into your memory. The first word is Are. It means day. There are days when I don't want to wake up. The second word is Aria. It means daytime, which is that which is during the day. The third word is Yare. It means former days. In those former days, fruits were created, as the fourth word suggests. Yave. It means fruit. Yave des fruits. As the Frenchman would say, or there were fruits. The fifth word is Vea. It means adult, manly, or vigorous. Yave. Vea. Yave man. As the bilingual man would say, that's why he's vigorous, because he ate the forbidden fruit. The word is, remember, Aria is daytime. The sixth word is Ria. It means crown. The sun crowns daytime like the letter E crowns feminine words in French. The weight of the crowning E eclipses the A in the beginning of Aria. The glittering crown extends the length of the I sound in Ria. The seventh word is Yara. It means ancient. Yara, l'ancien dieu égyptien Ra. As the Frenchman would say, or, there is Ra, the ancient Egyptian god Ra. The eighth word is Arta. It means exalted, lofty. Art as we know it has been exalted by AI capabilities. Review time. The second word was Arie. It means that which is during the day. What is it? Daytime, of course. The ninth word is Asia. It means ease, comfort. Asia is easier remembered with the comfort of using anagrams. The tenth word is Ire. Much like Asia, Ire comes from a word play, it's the ire in desire, and means desire. The eleventh word is Ura. It means evil, nasty. Japanese Ura means back. What happens in your back is always evil and nasty, and you don't want to know it. Eleven words is just enough to start stimulating your memory, so why don't you go studying these? It's easier said than done. The words are close one to another to make it hard enough this way. I want to keep you occupied waiting for the next video, so why don't you go ahead and subscribe, activate the notification bell, and let word of mouth spread concerning the activity of this brand new channel if you want me to provide you with consistent entertaining uploads?